All right, what's good, y'all? The Chiefs just won 38 to 35 over the Eagles in the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 57. This is the best Super Bowl. Damn. I'm trying to think. When, oh, man. Damn, it's just a great Super Bowl. I, I got to really think about it. I don't want to go overboard because the Rams, shout out to the Rams. They won last year, and that was in, uh, yeah, that was a three-point game. So, uh, yeah, look, we've had back-to-back -back great Super Bowls, but this one was better, obviously. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, both both were magical for different reasons, different reasons. But, yeah, so let, let me start off with this, man. Once again, congrats to the Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes is a top three quarterback of all time for me. I have Tom Brady, then Joe Montana, then Patrick Mahomes, then John Elway, then Penny Mang. That's my top five quarterbacks of all time. And I already got Patrick Mahomes at number three already. Not only did he win his second championship, he broke the regular season MVP curse. He won the MVP, his second MVP, and won a Super Bowl on top of that. He was able to break the curse. So credit goes to him on that. Credit goes to Andy Reid. His play calling in the second half was tremendous. I don't know what type of schemes he came up with or what, what um, adjustments he uh, came up with in during the uh, halftime. But whatever it was, he figured it out and figured it out very quickly. And they were they were amazing in the red zone. Uh, the the place that they ran, having the the running backs or the the wide receivers run these motion routes to get themselves wide open. And on top of that, the Eagles they were scared of Travis Kelsey because he was balling as well. But yeah, man, Sky Moore he got open. On a on a motion, uh, Kadarius Tony got open on the motion. Uh, shout out to my boy Juju Smith, fight on Trojans. He was stellar in this game. Um, and look, Patrick Mahomes didn't even throw a bunch of crazy yards. I I think he threw maybe two hundred at the most, but he had about what three touchdowns, something like that, three four touchdowns. So yeah, credit once again to Andy Reid for that for that uh, play call and the play designs. The play designs were really, really, really good. I mean, he's he's the best head coach in the NFL, so it is to be expected. And he's off, obviously an offensive genius. Um, on the ego side, I want to say salute to Jalen Hurts. He was incredible today. I think he had four touchdowns overall, three rushing and one passing. He had over 300 yards. I thought the Chiefs game plan going to this game was going to be to basically stop the run and force Jalen Hurts to throw over 300 yards if they was going to win. And he threw over 300 yards. He ran well. He got all these rushing touchdowns. He had a beautiful throw to A.J. Brown with his one passing touchdown. That was a beautiful throw. So... He did his thing. I know he, tonight he probably won't be able to gain sleep for the simple fact that he did fumble and Bolton uh, recovered the fumble and ran off and got the touchdown. So he's probably not going to sleep tonight because of that. That's probably the main thing he's going to be thinking about is them. If I had not fumbled that ball. I know a lot of Eagle fans and fans in general are complaining about the Brad Berry call towards the end on Juju Smith-Schuster. I get it, but... Look, bro, I, I'm not making no excuses. He shouldn't have tried to, like, turn him, hold him any which way. He should not touch them. Don't touch him at all if you don't want to be called for a flag on that type of play. You know what I'm saying? They're going to give those type of plays up. They're going to call him. So, on um, Bradbury, look, he wasn't terrible at all tonight, but he should have not touched him whatsoever, especially after he got past the five-yard line or, you know, that five Y'all cushion between the two. I mean, he pretty much didn't give him no cushion, to be honest. But I'm just saying, overall, he should have just not made it look any bit as if he turned Juju around or held him. So I'm not really mad about that call. I do think that uh, Devontae Smith did catch the ball at the uh, towards the end of the first half, which would have changed the game. Uh, that really did help the, the Chiefs. Um, yeah, that really did help the Chiefs. But yeah, I I I thought uh, damn that's crazy, bro. Yeah, I th I thought the Eagles 
They played as well as you could play, but look, I knew this. I knew I I th this is how I thought the game was gonna go. I'm being honest, cause I I picked the Chiefs way before this, and you can see on my Madden uh game, I I I usually pick the team who I think is gonna win or who I want to win, and I thought the Chiefs was going to win this game simply because of Mahomes. Uh, even though I thought the Eagles were the better team, first half the Eagles were the better team. Their time possession was astonishing. They had their their time of possession was twenty minutes to the Chiefs seven minutes or something like that. Twenty minutes, twenty one minutes to eight minutes. I'm like, this is crazy. I haven't seen nothing like this in a while. But yeah, Chiefs figured it out as soon as they came out in that third quarter. And this was smart on the Chiefs. I don't care what nobody says. Obviously, they won. So in hindsight, people are gonna say it's smart. But I thought it was smart before. They decided when they did the 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 the, the coin toss. Yo, we're going to defer and we're going to get this ball in the third quarter, which was smart on their behalf because they had been in trouble had the Chiefs, I mean, had the Eagles got the ball first in the third quarter at the beginning of the third quarter. So that was smart on their part. I always do that, especially in Madden. I don't care how good I am. I always defer so I can get that ball at the, third, uh, <laughs> at the beginning of the third quarter. So, yeah, shout out to the Chiefs on that. Um, what else was I going to say? Well, obviously, the, the Eagles... Uh, running backs, they were pretty much non-existent. So this was all Jalen Hurts. And like I said, I, I kind of hoped, I was kind of wishing that it would go into overtime just so we could see it be overtime. But uh, yeah, I, I, I still think it's a great game regardless. Fantastic game from beginning to end. Mm, pardon me. Um, this game, I mean, the fact they were both number one seeds and they both played like it from beginning to end, this reminded me of a, a really hyped up high school game between two number one teams, you know, from different cities and they go against each other and, and the crowd is roaring and just going crazy. So, yeah, man, the Eagles don't got nothing to be ashamed about. Just amazing. Just just amazing overall. I didn't even know this. Patrick Mahomes passed for seven touchdowns and had zero interceptions this postseason, which shows the shows you the growth that he's made. Um you know, through his first, what, six years in the NFL. So, yeah, man. I mean, they really might have a dynasty on their hands. We'll see what happens next year. But they should definitely be favorites, regardless of Sean Payton being the head coach for the Denver Broncos. On the Eagles side, they should be the favorites next year. But they most likely are going to lose majority, or I should say the main pieces of their coaching staff, minus the head coach. They're going to keep the head coach, obviously. But I think they're going to lose their offensive coordinator and the defensive coordinator. So, we about to see how they go. Look, I've never seen a team just go back to the Super Bowl when you lose your main components of your coaching staff, excluding the head coach, of course. Um, so, we'll see what happens. But Jalen Hurts, he's young. Like I said, this was the salute to him. He was amazing. He was amazing this game. So, yeah, you know, they just got to keep on drafting and just go from there. But they should be the favorites just off top. So, yeah, uh, that's my take. What did you think about this game? Who did you have winning prior to, uh, yeah, who did you pick uh, up for this game? Were you surprised with the ending? Who actually won? Once again, shout out to Patrick Mahomes, top three quarterback of all time. He won Super Bowl MVP and regular season MVP in one season. Tremendous, man. Fantastic NFL season overall. I already can't wait for the next NFL season to come. Uh, let me know your thoughts.